Hi, my name is Jade Fang. I am an acupuncturist. I've been an acupuncturist for 12 years. I'm a second generation acupuncturist, so my parents are both acupuncturists. And today I'm going to talk about wrist pain. So once again, we're going to start with the ear because that's the easiest. So here's the head and then the ear lays out the whole entire body this way. So with wrist, the key is, is to tackle both the neck, the shoulder, the arm, and the wrist, not to only do the wrist point. Because sometimes it's the nerve pain is radiating from the neck or going down the arm. So it's best to tackle this whole entire area. So what you do is take two fingers and the second finger in the back and the thumb in the front and starting from the neck point down here, just pinch and like massage it like five times. Just do circles and then go a little up and then go a little out and then go a little up and a little out to, so from the neck all the way down to the shoulder, down the arm to the hand. And while you're doing that on the opposite ear, you try moving your wrist and see if that relieves the pain. You kind of find your most active point. So I'll show you with my ear. So this is my ear. So I'll start with the neck area. So I take this finger in the front, this finger in the back, or I can do it this way, thumb in the back here, and I'll massage it one, two, three, four, five. I'll move my wrist, see how it feels. Now move up, one, two, three, four, five. Move my wrist, see how it feels. Now move out a little, one, two, three, four, five. Move up a little. Now I'm in the wrist point, one, two, three, four, five. See how that feels. So that's for the ear covering all the way from the neck of your body to the shoulder to the arm to the wrist for wrist pain. Okay, and now I'm going to do the balance method. So obviously for wrist, now we're going to do ankle. So you're going to do the opposite ankle. So here's my foot. Here's my ankle. So like it mirrors the wrist. So if the medial side or the inside of your wrist hurts, you can try here. If the top hurts, you can try here. If the lateral side hurts, you can try here. Or if the back of the wrist hurts, you can try just kind of working the Achilles tendon in here. So I'll probably use my thumb. That's my most powerful finger. I stabilize it with my hand. And then I'll start with the Achilles tendon and then just go in right at that spot and work it out. So like I said before, you just close your eyes and then relax your leg and then dig and see where are the really tender or really tight spots. Where is there a knot? And just slowly, like take over five minutes, work through different spots while moving your wrist and saying, Hey, did the pain level go down? Is this, pain, is this point an effective point? Sometimes there's radiating parts and so... This is this is basically the wrist, this is your hand, and then you can kind of work in all around here. There, there's pressure points all around here. Slowly work that out and move your wrist and see that relieve the wrist pain. And sometimes wrist pain will radiate down. You can radiate, you know, up the tendon this way or down the tendon this way, so you can work this tendon. Or you can work the underneath of the foot for this area, so... If your wrist pain is associated with finger uh, tingling and pain, you can work deep in here, work in the arches and go up to the ball of the foot. So, and you can, you know, just hold it where you're, where it's easy for you to exert pressure. Where you have, you're stabilizing the joint while putting pressure, so you're not like pressing and pushing this back. Stabilize push and do circles. Let's see how it feels. Okay, that's how you work on wrist pain.